But let's go inside politics with some big dramatic news in Washington first. And with me this morning to share their reporting and their insights, Nia Malika Henderson of the Washington Post, Margaret Tellev of Bloomberg News. Let's start with the surprise resignation, at least I think it's a surprise, you tell me if not, of Kathleen Sebelius. She was testifying on Capitol Hill just yesterday. Yeah. And then after nightfall in the evening, we get word she has resigned and the president today will quickly announce her replacement. We'll get to the replacement in a minute. Not surprised that she wanted to get to the door, right. uh, but I am surprised to some degree that they did this before the election because now they have a confirmation process which gives Republicans a Senate platform to re-debate Obamacare. Exactly. Um, you know, I, they wanted to turn the page with this, right? If you had gone to the AFP's website uh, a couple of weeks ago, Sebelius was on that website. She was becoming the face of Obamacare, a very negative public face. She had some poor outings uh, in, in congressional hearings on The Daily Show. But I do think if she were a basketball coach, right, uh, she would probably be coach of the year, right? Because she was able to turn this thing around, had good news yesterday that 7.5 million people, uh, you know, signed up for this. This thing, but I think she was just becoming toxic because p the politics of it just weren't good. It's more like a coach who was never going to get their contract extended, but at least they got to go out on a sort of high note. I mean, this is like the surprise announcement that was two years coming, yeah. right? There were other problems even before Obamacare with their handling of the contraception controversy. She wasn't good on her feet in a tense political situation. It, she's glad to have hit that sort of seven and a half million mark, but. And so the politician, former right. governor of Kansas, steps aside and a career. Uh, inside person, a partisan, but someone who doesn't play so politician. Sylvia Matthews, she was when I covered the Clinton White House. Sylvia Matthews Burwell now. Uh, she's been running the Office of Management and Budget. She was just confirmed with 96 votes not all that long ago, so she could say, hey, I have a lot of Republican support. Is this become now about Sylvia, who is known as a taskmaster, a doer, a good manager, or is this almost like, thanks for being here so we can debate rising premiums and can you keep your doctor? Yeah, I think that's right. And, you know, I mean, she has been getting lovely write-ups in the Times and the Post. She's a wonk. Apparently she, you know, will be better at this because she understands uh, sort of the digital side of it more than Sebelius because she's younger and uh, that doesn't really necessarily make sense. Uh, but, you know, it could be that she runs into the same problems, right? It's, this is it's also part that she's very much part of the inside the White House team. The White House wants to control and manage everything anyway. It will be easy this way. 